Subsea processing represents a new set of subsea building blocks for cost-efficient field developments with a considerable potential to improve net present value, increase production rates and increase recovery. Subsea gas liquid separation and liquid boosting can also increase the production rate in low energy reservoirs. For maturing fields, an investment in a subsea processing station can contribute to increased earnings, production and recovery, improving and prolonging the use of existing infrastructure. For new field developments, it can provide very cost-efficient and environmentally friendly platformless solutions, where the field is tied into an existing offshore facility or directly to shore. The CDS Compact Subsea Separator facilitates cost-efficient design by using a patented gas bypass and state-of-the-art, topside proven internal systems. The Tordis Subsea Separation System will be installed next to the existing Tordis Subsea infrastructure, which is producing to the Gulfax Sea platform. By installing a full-scale subsea separation facility, Statoil expects to improve the Tordis field's recovery factor from 49 to 55%. Along with other upgrades to the field, FMC CDS's separation system will allow Statoil to extract 35 million extra barrels of oil from the Tordis field. This is achieved by removing water from the well stream subsea and re-injecting the water in a separate well subsea, thereby reducing the back pressure towards the Tordis field and allowing more hydrocarbons to be processed at the Gulfax Sea platform. Subsea processing represents a significant potential for cost savings and accelerated production by moving some of the traditional topsides fluid processing equipment to the seabed. Subsea separation and local reinjection of produced water and or gas will allow flow lines and topside processing equipment to be used more efficiently. From an environmental point of view, reinjection of water will also eliminate disposal of produced water to sea.